It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, back for another week of brilliant idiotness. Uh, and today's show is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code IDIOT to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the motherfucking show! What's happening, good people? What's up? How you um, feeling, bro? I feel blessed, black, and highly favored. Um, Today is a good day. I mean, the week is a good week. I, I've been feeling really good this week. I've been feeling so good. I be feeling like I'm having out-of-body experiences. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, even when I get triggered by stuff, meditation has really helped me return to center. Okay. You know what I mean? And I get the the, the exhale and woosah all the, all the bullshit. So I feel good. Yeah. I feel good. I got dick control again. Talk to me, baby, DC. I got and we ain't DC, talking about the comics. I What's got- up? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Honestly, my DC was just about as trash as the comics, bro. Back in the day, it was bad. I had a couple rough <laughs> weeks, and uh, I was putting out some some less than seller performances. But I got it again. I just had to throw a beat into the schedule. I haven't jerked off in forever. I think I just been so stressed I didn't go. need to. But I put mm. a jerk off into mm. the schedule, and that changed everything. Release the chamber. I'm not as pent up, and your boy was back to action, there dude. You, you know what you you know what it is. Sometimes when you have a woman, right? And, you know, you got a woman, so you're used to getting it on the regular. Mm. We tend to take masturbation out of our repertoire. But men have to understand masturbation is a form of self-care. It's a form of self-care that only we understand. Yeah. Yeah, You you can only do more push-ups when you do more push-ups. Does that mean any sense? It does make sense. You're right. You got to exercise. You got to put in the work. And uh, I've been putting in the work, fellas. I've been going at it, you know. And um, I just wanted to share that with you. You shave one off. Yeah. And then when you get in the sack later on, you good to go. Crazy. Crazy. So I'm nice with it. But yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'm I happy just want to let you, everybody man. know because a lot of people are concerned. They were DMing me all these different techniques and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, I just went back to old school, bro. I threw a crank. I threw a crank in the system. That, yo, that's very true, though. Sometimes, man, we be trying to reinvent the wheel for no reason, man. We know what works. We've been exactly. doing this long enough. Once but you know great. what it is? You're getting older. Yeah. So you don't want to waste that nut because sometimes, you know, you jerk off and then go later on, you don't, you ain't even in the mood. Yeah. And, and also it's right like, after. my shit don't even shoot as far anymore. How old are you, Schultz? How old are you? I'm 37, bro. It's coming out I'm like I'm the same a age as you and I'm, and I'm, I'm doing Say all right, but. Say what? I'm the same, I'm the same age as you. It's like, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I hear you. You're talking about stop. You've been even nut for years. I wasn't nothing because I didn't want to. What? What do you mean you wasn't nothing? <laughs> I, I, I want you to I have more self esteem. What do you mean you wasn't nothing? I, was, <laughs> I wasn't so nothing at all because I didn't want to. I, I felt like if I nutted with the girl, I gave her something. If I don't nut, she owed me something. But so that's yeah, how I always got food. I always got my clothes washed because I know these girls know that if I ain't make them nut, I mean, if I ain't nut, they owe me a whole lot of shit. What about all the other stuff you gave girls hmm. like chlamydia, gonorrhea, exactly. herpes? <laughs> well, you said you didn't want to give her nothing. Felt I like didn't you didn't her, give them that. I didn't want to give her the nut because I mean she won. I can't do that to her. I ain't really, I ain't really like her like that. Only person that I get is my girl. Like somebody I really, really like, and I've been dealing with you for a while. I'm like, okay, you deserve a nut, baby, out of every five. What about the three girls you had pregnant at one time in Florida? I was a fucking piece of <laughs> shit. I didn't know what the hell I had going on back then. So they deserved a nut. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I had going on. I just wanted a bunch of kids at one time. If that time, if somebody brought me to a village. And they had a bunch of women at that time. I would have pregnant every single one of the women. That's that was where my brain was at. Andrew, how much would your ancestors have paid for wax with, with that mentality? Big, wow, big guy like that, willing to just give that sperm Strong up. Athlete. Um, I mean, that's a really tricky question because we'd have to. <laughs> <laughs> You could answer it for the sake of comedy. You could answer it for the sake of comedy. Or you could say, you know what? Let me fall back. We could fall back, but at the same time, like, are we calculating inflation? Like, do we want a modern day price? Do we want a price back in the day? Like, you know, you could get (laughs) you could get Skittles for like 25 cents when my dad was young. You know (laughs) what I mean? So I don't want to disrespect you, but back in the day, things were cheaper, bro. You know? So I would so 25 cents was for me. 
No, no, I'm not saying that. I don't know. You know, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know what the going rate was. Also, how old are you? How many good years do you got? <laughs> me and you the same age, and the way it looks like right now, I might be in trouble the way you telling me how you are. Nobody's buying a human at 37. <laughs> Jesus me? Christ. People Amen. only lived to like 40 years old back in the day. Yeah, I thought it was hundreds of years back in the day. Well, no, biblical times. That's biblical times, bro. Yeah. That's back when, when they were just eating fruits and vegetables, you know? But once, yeah, we once started they started using bodies. the Bible for slavery, life expectancy was uh, very, very low. Yeah. But let's let's get into some positively brilliant, what a fucking idiot. Uh, what did you see this week, Schultz, that made you say positively brilliant, what a fucking idiot? It's a great question. I, I've been like, I've been, I don't want to use the word battling because that's too severe, but like I'm trying to see how I feel about the reaction to, to Bobby coming home. Let's talk okay. about it. I don't know talk what he did. So this is, you know, classic brilliant idiots fashion. I'm making a decision based on what he did or didn't do. But like, okay. depending on what he did, oh. I don't know if it's a cause for celebration. Okay. I'll tell you why I celebrate it. Okay. Um, I celebrate it because we live in an era where people, not even just young people, just people don't like to deal with the consequences of their actions. We really live in an era where people feel like they can do anything, say anything, and when repercussions happen, they don't want to deal with it, right? Mm. Like they, they, they point the finger at other mm. folks and blame other folks or they don't have any accountability. The reason I celebrate Roddy Rebel and Bobby, Bobby Smurda is because they dealt with the consequences of their actions. They held it down. They knew whatever that they were doing, you know, wasn't legit. They got locked up for it. They ain't point the finger at nobody else. They didn't make no excuses. They wasn't no, oh, woe is me. They went and they did their time. They paid their debt to society. And that's what America should be about, right? America should be, once you go pay your debt to society, you come home, you should have an opportunity to, you know, partake in all the freedoms and liberties yes. of this country. Yes, you pay your debt to society and it should be a clean slate. And if you don't think it's a clean slate, then we should increase the debt they have to pay. I agree yes. with you 100%. Absolutely. Like, it, I don't know what he did. He literally could have just been part of the gang and done nothing. It was conspiracy. Yeah, yeah it was conspiracy. conspiracy. It was conspiracy. It's conspiracy, right? But like, yeah. so so if he did absolutely kids. nothing and he didn't flip on people, that's admirable. You did nothing and went to jail so that your boys didn't have to, who actually did do something, didn't get the time. Uh, hey, listen, you're a He was getting a lot of friend. money, too. Say what? And why he was getting a lot of money, too. Why he was getting a lot of money. Why he was getting a lot of money. At the height, at the, almost at the, not even the peak of your career, but when you're just getting started, your life is changing, and then boom, you get hit up because of, and, and this is the other thing people got to remember too, man. It's about environment, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you grow up in a certain environment, you grow up around certain people, some things you're just born into. Sometimes yeah. you're just born into conspiracy charges. That's just the truth to the matter. Yeah. The people around you might be doing things, your uncle, your father, whoever it is. So you might just, what, what they call a gang is just my people. You know what I mean? And and these people are the people that happen to be with me. Um, I'm trying to come on, come up as a rapper. They're around me. I'm around them. I end up getting jammed up. But I respect it so much because he dealt with the consequences of his actions. People don't like to deal with the consequences of their actions nah, nowadays, man. That's good perspective on it. I, I'll give it up to I still don't know what you know they accused him of doing. Like, obviously, it wasn't this because they would say it. But there are certain crimes where, like, when you get out of jail... We're not celebrating you. Even nah, you if, touch kids. Oh, 100%. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're touching kids, yeah, you're touching women nah, or some shit like you. that, like, we're, there's not going to be, you know, Quavo's not meeting you at the jet. Like, yeah, you held nah. true. You know what I mean? Like, you well, tell the rest of the guys who touch kids. Nah, it's not cool. Well, we say that, right? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, people celebrated when Mike Tyson came home. Now, whether Mike Tyson really did what they he went to jail for, it. we don't know. They didn't think he, he did it. I think that's what really came Okay, about. all right. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay, like, that's fair. Also, people Tupac. celebrated OJ getting off, and they knew he did do it. OJ didn't do it. OJ didn't do it. You're a liar, bro. You're a liar. Come, come on, show. Come on. on. Why, what, what, would ever, what evidence have you seen that makes you say OJ did it? The glove. <laughs> if it didn't fit, you must have quit. <laughs> nah, Stop. That's a good point. Are you paying attention. That's a good point. I don't know. I'm be honest with you. I don't know if OJ did it or not. I know the court of law says he didn't. I can't even speculate on that. Even somebody like Tupac, same same rules apply. People didn't. People felt like he didn't do it. But it's not. But people still celebrated when he came home. Is what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Right. So I don't know. To be I just fair, think it the court of law did convict him of doing it as well. In yeah, a, that's in what a I'm civil saying. Court. 
But but that's what I'm saying. Only be, only the wax's point because he was like, you know, we don't celebrate people when they come home from jail for allegedly, you know, touching girls or whatever it is. You know what All I mean? Right. So here's here's a scenario I'm gonna throw at you just because it's been going through my mind I, and I, you guys are Talk giving me. me good perspective, right? Everybody's like, yo, we got to celebrate this because Bobby didn't snitch, you know, Bobby didn't tell, Bobby didn't do all these things, right? And, like, didn't he snitch in the song and that's why everybody got jammed up? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, he don't got anybody fucked up in the first yeah, place. Like, now you can't tell twice, nigga. Exactly. You can't like, tell you twice. Told. You were like, <laughs> like, literally, he's like, yo, we were by the, the fucking Benny Hanna and then they shot these guys. About a week ago. And well, exactly. I think like, I think, you gave the I time. Think, yeah, well, yeah, how I think long did it happen was... ago? About a week? Yeah. Where did you get that yeah, I, think there was, I don't I, know. Your hit song? Hey man, at least don't went by before that song went out, man. I, I, to, to, to your point, I'm, I'm not even celebrating the whole no no snitching thing. That I don't, that, you know, I'm not in the street, so that that I don't even care about that. I'm, but to your point, man, shouldn't he be celebrated by the hood street rappers? Like I like to see all of these street guys giving Bobby fifty thousand, hundred thousand. I'm gonna Peace. tell you why, because we see the consequences consequences when somebody snitch. Snitches, yes. right? We see the backlash in hip-hop. So I need to see what the consequences are for keeping it real. Let me see if keeping it real is worth it. Let me, let me see how that looks. <laughs> like, I want to see how it looks. Yeah. Bobby is showing us, yo, keeping it real pays it's, off. It's worth it, right? Yeah. Nah, He's that's, getting celebrated. That's true. Like, if you're a street dude and you want people to live by the street code, you got to reward it. You oh, can't he, make he a king right, right now. He's king for that. Yeah, you can't make the reward for snitching greater than the reward for keeping it real. That's right. Of course not. And I said that on this podcast last year, maybe a couple years ago. I don't remember when it was. But I said when Bobby comes home, when Roddy Rebel comes home, they should be celebrated based off the rules of the street, based yeah. off the rules of these street rappers, right? Because you're always encouraging people, no snitching, no snitching, no snitching. So when somebody holds it down, it down. they should be celebrated. I like seeing Quavo pulling up with the private jet. Yeah. You know, he getting 50,000 here from this rapper, 100,000 here from this rapper, Young Thug buying them chains. Dope. Those guys that live by that code should be celebrating them because now we have a uh, a proof of concept of what it looks like when you indeed keep it real. Mm. I think so. I'm down with that. Yeah. I think so. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. So I just, I just, I just think, you know, for, for me though, just as a perspective of a man and a human, as a person, I just like seeing people deal with the consequences of their actions. Because I swear we live in this world where everybody likes to play the victim even though they do some bullshit. Mm. They love to throw rocks and hide their hands. Always. You know, those two brothers didn't, Bobby Smurdy and Roddy Rebel. So for that, I salute them for being humans who are willing to deal with the consequences of their actions. And I really don't like people uh, acting like, you know, well, they shouldn't be celebrated. They did X, Y, and Z. What's the point of paying your debt to society then? Who mm. didn't do nothing before? Like, what the fuck you did before? Yeah. You ain't got caught. That's all that is. At what point do you get an opportunity to, to bounce back from your, your your mistakes and your mishaps? Isn't America supposed to be the land of second chances? I, I don't know. Is it the land of second chances? It should. It's yeah. supposed to be, but it's not. Right. I can't think yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I guess it just depends on, like, how you feel about the crime, you know? Like, yeah. if, if you've been the victim of that crime, you're probably a little bit more sensitive. <laughs> yeah. to but the that trauma that gonna live with you out. forever, right? Say like, what? That trauma gonna live with you forever, right? Hell yeah. Like, think about think about if you've ever lost a fight, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody ever punched you in your nose. Somebody you ever like did something to you. you. That trauma don't ever leave you. Mm -hmm. That's why I know Barack Obama lying. I, I know he's <laughs> lying. I, I know, I, I, <laughs> that's on, I know he's lying. And I hate to put it, put him in the what a effing idiot category because he could never be. But bro, that's cap. That's cap. He said bro. it actually out of his mouth? Yes, he said he punched somebody in the nose for calling him a coon. Come That's on, cap, bro. Come on. Come why on. you why think you it's cap, Why are you saying it's cap? Taylor, you're not allowed to talk. So, no. why do you think it's cap? First of all, yeah. I didn't know it was the word coon. And the fact that it's the word coon, I know for a fact it's cap. Because nobody knows that word as a young person. I never learned that word. We don't learn well, the that word. word coon, the, the, the word coon means uh, somebody who reinforces the negative stereotypes of black people. That's never been Barack. Barack ain't never reinforced negative stereotypes of black people. It don't make sense. But uh, I'm just saying, it's just like that word, like, have you ever been called that? But like, if you're a white guy and you want to make a black person feel bad about being black, there's a word you can go for. Yeah, right? it's not cool. It's not cool, bro. Yeah, it's not cool. What if he just learned that in history class? <laughs> No, they don't teach the word coon in history class. Yes, it was. Yeah, they I don't got teach race. They never teach you the word coon. Yes, they did. Why would you lie like that? 
Why do you, I you ain't lie? No, I'm about her. I know you ain't me. Why? Why do I have to lie about that? Taylor Obama. <laughs> I don't know. Why would Barack have tell, to lie? Like, I'm Brian. saying. Oh, okay, tell us the lesson, Nobody. Taylor. No, let's entertain this for a second. Tell right, us the go. lesson. It's not Taylor. a lesson. I'm just saying. When Why did they teach you about learn... coon? Huh? Why did they teach you about coon in school? We're learning about Black history. Raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were talking about what. Why are y'all laughing? I want to know. Keep making this shit up. Keep making this shit up. <laughs> I got you. Know. Keep digging your grave. <laughs> Keep digging your grave. I'm not grave. No. You sure it's not it. raccoon? Yes. That's an animal. You think it's a fucking raccoon? No. Taylor said they taught her about I, coons no, time in time history class. No, time out, They did not teach me. I already knew what it was. I'm talking about they talked about it in history class, though. How'd Why? You learn? How'd you we were talking about was? black history. We were talking, we talked about slavery. Nah, nah. And then we talked. How'd you learn the word coon? How'd you learn it? What they say? My parents. I have black parents. They, they, they were just calling that you. School. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Like, they weren't telling me. They were talking. Taylor, what's Are the y'all, so, y'all so mad ignorant right now? Like, no, you, so your family, because your family didn't, your black parents didn't teach you about just black history. Like, they didn't give you books or nothing like that. Why do you call yeah, his parents? Okay, so nothing to do with black history. They're just parents. What do you mean? It doesn't have nothing to do with the word "cool" with... has nothing to do with black history. Why would no, the word I'm not saying black that history. it has to do with our like successful black history. Like, I'm just saying what came in to like when it came to slavery and everything else like that. Yes, that word came up of why. Uh, white people called us coons and everything else hey, like that. No, what is it? They say Why it did we call you coons? Because it wasn't it. I don't know. The... We wasn't in your class. Yeah, but me neither. Yeah. So don't try to I figure missed, it out. I, I missed that class. <laughs> I, I, I took it as it was the same thing as when they used to um, make fun of us like wearing blackface, right? No. I guess that's a raccoon well, called. Blackface, blackface was the menstrual show. Now, they did teach you about the menstrual show. In history class, mm -hmm. I can see that. But cooning, yeah. eh. They didn't... Taylor, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Right. If you were lying right now, just hypothetically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just hypothetical. I'm not you. saying you are. I'm just I saying if you, you were, you're not. I hate you. would you admit it? Like once, uh, like, Why would I lie about that? I, that's what we want to know, Barack. <laughs> Why would Yo. you lie about punching oh somebody in the nose because they called you a coon? I just said in his suggestion, <laughs> what if he just learned about that in history? Taylor. That's all I'm saying. Taylor. You guys are trying to make it seem like... How many it's times not in your like life a have you been huh? called? How many times in your life have you heard anybody use Just the word Just because I never got called, that doesn't mean that it didn't happen. I want to know what the history lesson was in this Philadelphia yeah. school. <laughs> All yeah. right, that's what we haven't figured out. What was the lesson? I want to know the <laughs> test. <laughs> what do you call a black person that's been pissing you off lately? Is it A? Now, <laughs> listen, Meek, manages, uh, Meek Mill's manager name is Coon Philly. What? So maybe oh. that is a Philly thing. Maybe they do teach that in okay. schools. Okay. I, I don't is, know. I Coon? Coon Philly. Yeah, salute the Coon. That's that's his name. Coon Philly. And people but have to call him that? with a C or, or a K? A C. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, that's, that's just But Taylor, what's the lesson, though? I'm not talking about it no more. <laughs> y'all sound mad ignorant. We might need to like, report this teacher. Y'all try to make it seem like yeah, it's... Teacher is was it a white teacher? A teacher? Was it a white teacher? After he was from He was from England. So you had Taylor. a white no, no. That's, teacher. That's, 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 on, that's on that bridge. That's on the edge. I went to Lord Marion. I get Listen. it, but why are they doing that? They bugging. I, I just want to know why black people are lying about the word <laughs> coon this week. All right? <laughs> like, like, this is the second story. Is the word coon making us just tell tall tales? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, why would Barack oh. just say... By the way, if Barack had... Here's two things. Here's the reason I know it's cap. <sighs> Number one, if Barack had really punched somebody in the nose back we in the day. We would have known about it. We Everybody would have known. known. Everybody would have known. It. They would have been, that would have been in the news. Like, they'd have been like, he's violent. Yup. You know, he, 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 he punched a white guy in the face back yep. in the day. Also, like, he can't control his white? temper. Do we know the guy's white? He could be Hawaiian. Oh. Uh, I, I think he's Hawaiian. I think he's like a Samoan dude. Yes. And by the way, if you got punched in the nose by Barack Obama, you would have definitely put that story out. Come on. You got a book out. You put out a book out. You got a whole series out. Come on. Yeah. In slow motion. Everybody will watch it. Yeah, come on. That's your claim to fame. Since 2008, this guy's never reappeared. And if the guy doesn't show up in the next seven days, Barack Obama is cap. Well, none of the girls that he ever had sex with ever came up, so... No, it's no, one did. Oh, yeah? One. But that was his girlfriend from back in the day, before Michelle. You remember her? Yeah, she put out a book, The Audacity of Stroke. 
He was beating that thing down, bro. He was beating yeah, that Michelle thing don't want to hear that. I hope she ain't do that. I believe that. I, I, believe I just don't that. believe it. I'm sorry. I just don't believe it. I'm sorry. I don't believe Barack Obama's story. Why do I think Barack Obama would lie? I don't think he's lying. I just think he knows something that we all know. When you on a goddamn podcast, you got to fill time. Don't get it. Nobody <laughs> cares. Get it. Nobody cares if the story is true. Nobody cares about the truth when they the lie is that. more entertaining. They forgot 100%. to edit that. Come on. Taylor, we just told a whole lie and it took 10 minutes of the podcast. That because was beautiful. Why, why am I lying about? again? Why is who lying? Why am I lying again? You because just, y'all think you just so? told the whole lie about because the y'all think story. So. Ooh, because ooh. y'all think so. What Listen, are you talking about? We know for a oh, fact God. that the raccoon... But no, oh, 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 you said to, it's I a derogatory term against black people, is it not? Yes. Okay, so why can I not learn that in history class? I'm, a, I'm not saying you did. I want to know the dumb. context. <laughs> what was the context? I don't remember. It was like fucking years ago. Oh, I just remember learning that shit. Now you forget. So they just wrote it on a chalkboard no, and said, why read this, Taylor. Why are y'all making it so simple? K-O-O-N. Why are y'all making it so simple? <laughs> y'all are so simple-minded. So hold on. So they just wrote it on a chalkboard and said, Yeah, Shama, that's say this. That goes well with your story. Then let's how many, say how many black life. kids was in the class? It was only me and eight brothers. <laughs> All right, we got to get this up. teacher fired. This teacher, this, London, this teacher from London was trying to be funny. He wanted y'all to say coon. That's all. So I got taught it because he wrote it on the board. That's how you're saying it? You said I'm just going to go with the story that you're making up then. I'm making up a yes, story? Yes, because you're saying how <laughs> I got taught it. You're how saying I how I got taught it. Story. You're saying how I got taught it. And I'm not saying that he wrote it on the fucking board. You said you got taught it in class. That doesn't mean that they're going to just write coon on the board. Well, did he come up and whisper it in your ear? Exactly. <laughs> Forgive me for thinking that a teacher would write something on a chalkboard. Oh, oh, the teacher's I students. I don't have it in the school in a while, but Jesus <laughs> Christ. Christ. They didn't have laptops back then. <laughs> what was he teaching exactly. you guys? Did he have, did he have you guys sit on his what, what, what was the lesson like? It's a pro- it was a project. Oh, it wasn't was like it? he taught us like, oh, so yeah. Black people used to be called coons back then. Like, it wasn't like that. That's like, what we're trying to figure out, Like, it's called projects and everything else I didn't even know that, that we had to do, how we learned about black... When I say learning about black history, I'm talking about we had to do a project where we're learning kind Hold of teaching on. ourselves. Hold on. Hold on. Why the fuck <laughs> is some white guy from England teaching you about black you. history? About black I know, guys. that's a problem. He's <laughs> leading with sense. the word coon. No, I hey, said he's leading I wanna, with I it. I want to teach y'all about black history. It's Martin Luther King Jr. and then it's coons. <laughs> that is the lesson plan for the month. K O O N. That's all. We just try to figure it out, Taylor. That's Taylor, all. Taylor, that story makes sense. You didn't have a teacher from England. <laughs> Nobody from England moves to okay. America to teach black people <laughs> racist Philly. words in <laughs> Philly. Okay, so listen, this is not you, how shit works. So, at what point did you punch the teacher in the nose? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need to know. Like, why do y'all keep thinking I'm related to Obama? Like, y'all sound crazy. Salute to Obama. I'm not mad at him. I Please. understand. We all understand. We all do podcasts. Yeah. We know how the fuck it is. Content is content. Fill the holes, man. That's Fill right. Holes. Get and your nobody's views, gonna question bro. Obama. Get your nobody's views. gonna question Obama. What do you think he's gonna talk about next week? How he and Snitch when he was younger, <laughs> he did a little time and then came back, or what? <laughs> him and Bruce Springsteen. I'm gonna tell you something, bro. If you pay attention, yep. I think this whole shit with Bruce, with Governor Cuomo was because he fucking they jammed Bruce Springsteen up with that DUI, bro. Really? <laughs> I think you, Bruce Springsteen's showing Cuomo who the fucking boss. Yo, like, I mean, he, Bruce Springsteen is the boss. You know that, right? He is right? the fucking boss, bro. Hey, man. Like, don't you mess get me with jammed up with a DUI. You don't want to pardon me or whatever the fuck it is? I got something for your ass. Oh, yeah. Cuomo's out of here, bro. Nah, he's not out of here. Almost out of here. You didn't hear about the allegations? Some shorty said that he was trying to get a little freaky, bro. Schultz. Schultz. What? Schultz. Our last president had allegations. This president has allegations. Ain't nothing happened in the gov- Governor Cuomo. You think so? Am I, it's, but listen, sex scandals and politics go hand in it's hand. part of it. Yeah. Sex scandals and politics go together like Coon getting taught in the classroom. Building, <laughs> like, it's just... I hate it. My England guy. My England guy. Like, it's just all goes together. <laughs> You know what I mean? All right, forget the allegation because obviously these allegations pop up, of course. But the thing about the nursing home is interesting. That is interesting. And he should a- he should be reprimanded in some way, shape, or form for that. Forced to answer. You can't have daily briefings every day about COVID and everything else. And write a book. But then when stuff come up about you, you just want to give a press release. No, you know, yeah. we need to know. No. Especially that stuff with covering up them deaths in the nursing home. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's wild. Just fucking wild. I mean, look, at the same point, like none of us know what the right thing to do with COVID was, but the right thing to do is say that 
everybody's grandparents are getting murked in the fucking nursing homes. You know, you can't yeah. just lie about that shit. Especially yeah. if you're going to go out there and be like, I'm Captain COVID. I know how to handle it. And this is how we're going to do it. It's like, come on, bro. Yeah. Come on, yeah. bro. I, I agree with you. Hey, also, too, man, I'm calling Cap on Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs was on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. Oh, Did yeah. you see that? Freddie said he shot a crackhead nine times. 50 Cent is not a crackhead, bro. I think that's rude <laughs> to even insinuate that he did that. That's wrong, bro. That's that crack. Hey, that crackhead should have came out with an album, if that's true. After you get shot nine times, that's the only no thing way. to do, come out with an album. Why, Why would he say that? Why'd he shoot that's him nine times? That's what I want to know. Huh? Why'd he shoot him nine times? I have no idea. Yeah. I do believe if that was, if that, if, the, first of all, I'm calling Cap on that story because I don't believe it. I think Freddie was joking. Yeah, but bro. if that did happen, I can absolutely see the crackhead living. Because crackheads live for everything. They live like forever. Cats. They better than cats. They got 10 lives. You're right. Cats got nine. Oh, cat, cat, they, they actually should call cats crack instead of cats. Like it should be <laughs> cats. You should call somebody a cat head. Like crackheads <laughs> live way longer than everybody. I see them get hit by cars, trucks, get Nothing. beat up by bats. Jump out of windows. Word up. I only know one crackhead <laughs> that ever died in my life. I'm not even get joking. You know what? Well, I know one that passed away. And he only and he passed away after he got clean. Yeah, he probably got clean. clean. That's how he died. He, after he clean. got clean, he died. He got clean. He got a job. He was living his life, and that's when he died. When he was on crack. Oh man! Picture of Super health. Power. I'm I'm telling. Are we you, promoting yo. crack? Say what? Are we promoting crack? Right no, now? no, no, no. I'm just we're just <laughs> telling people that crackheads live a long time. Now right. here's the thing with Freddie Gibbs. I love Freddie, man. Freddie is hilarious. That's why I think he was joking. The reason I don't like stuff like that is because I know Joe Rogan's audience doesn't really know Freddie. Mm. They don't really know Freddie's sense of humor. Right. And they may hear that and pick up the phone and call the police on yeah, Freddie Gibbs. Yeah, FBI, bro. I'm serious. <laughs> That's what I was like, thinking. It might be a police officer riding around listening to fucking Joe Rogan who had a cold case for years. Uh. Just so happened there was a crackhead who got shot nine times. And they're like, we got our guy. He just admitted to it on the Joe Rogan podcast. Yo, I don't like shit like question. that. That's a good question. Like, how often the do they work died? on cold cases? Murder forever. Yeah, but like, like you just come in on a Tuesday and you're like, all right, let me throw, you know, half hour on this case. Like, how, when do you close it? What's the deal? I mean, the case is cold until it gets hot again, baby. Yeah. But Tip. are you like constantly interviewing people? New people die every week. You got to look at those cases as well. Like, how many cases do these detectives have at one point in time? I'm not sure, but I do know that when somebody like, you know, my man Freddie Gibbs gets on the Joe Rogan podcast and says something like that, that might fucking make some people's antennas go up yeah, man. and it might start to be some type of goddamn investigation. That's all Stay I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And I don't want all of these rappers having all these conversations about, you know, no snitching and all of this and that, but then getting on they platforms and self-incriminating themselves. <laughs> I don't like that shit. They don't know do that. the coolest shit about them is the illegal shit they've done. So that's the stories they got to tell. Who's more cap? You think Barack's more cap punching somebody in the nose or Freddie shooting somebody nine times? I think Barack is more cap. You think Barack? Why? Why do you think it's cap? Because he's been so calculated with every single thing in his life in order to yeah. become president. It's almost like in like high school, he decided, I'll be president of the United States of America and then do everything I need to do in order to be that, right? Go to Harvard, become the editor of the Harvard Review or whatever the fuck it is. Like join city legislation in Chicago. I mean, he constantly just built up, you know, get this talented, smart black wife that like make, make two beautiful kids, have the picture perfect family. Like he literally has this cookie cutter approach to being president and punching someone in the face for a racial slur does not make any sense whatsoever. It could have been on a basketball court though. You gotta think about it. I stuff. think it was. I think he did say it was on the yeah. basketball court. And and it makes sense. Then I know it's super cap because he is <laughs> soft as hell on the basketball court. I, I, That's him moving around. I see him moving around the basketball court. He can move around but he's soft. You feel like you could push him around. He's Yo, not getting Barack Barack 70 years, years old, bro. What's wrong with this guy? Barack not 70? Oh, no, he's, Barack. he's not 70. I think like, he's still in his 50s. Yeah. All right, well, still. I just think it's Cap. I don't know, man. I I, I just can't see Barack doing that. You think because you're Barack. portraying him as a president? But not as one now, but like, because he was one, he has to have this perfect clean image. What do you mean? Going Don't try on, to going distract forward? from the fact that you got taught coon in um, <laughs> school, okay? I didn't. What grade but... was this? We didn't ask you that. What grade was this? Okay. In there high school. High school? Um, I forgot what I but you know, to your point, shows, um, Taylor made me lose my fucking point. Good. God damn, Taylor. But such bro, a shows, do you think it's because you just only saw him as a president? Like you don't know him as 
Anything else? Yeah. yeah. He wasn't always president. I also know that, like, he's super smart. Like, I have a feeling like Barack is just the smartest guy in the room every time he's in a room. So, like, having to punch someone in the face seems super beneath him. Like, I feel like he could say something to that he guy. He should know when to strike, though. Certain yeah, but things he was you young. should know when Do to strike. Do you know how old he was when he did this? He was in high school. But he was still smarter <laughs> than everybody in high school. <laughs> in, in English class. He was in high school getting yeah, in, in history class. And it was with his teacher I from what I heard. Teacher. He no, to, to your point, Shosh, everything about him is so calculated. And now you just made me thought about something. Maybe he did punch somebody in the nose and the person is about to come out with the story. He's, he's and maybe smart. Barack has gotten wind of it already. And so he's getting ahead of it. Because he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't mince words. He doesn't uh he doesn't waste words. Mm. Ever. There's a reason Barack Obama, it's like Marvel, bro. Every single thing matters. There's some, it's the reason he said this, bro. He didn't just say this for no reason. You mean eight years as president, all of the racial stuff that happened, yeah. he never used this never. as an example ever? Bro, you know what I realized? How soft is the word coon that white people could say it? Yeah. Maybe kinda... he merely meant to say nigga. Whoa, 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 whoa. How you missed that up? Yo, Taylor. No. He, Taylor. Did you I'm allowed learn, to say it. Did you learn that word in high school? I hate school? you. In history class. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. Yo, I hate the you. way you pronounce it sounded a little English. I'm not going to lie. You had a little English accent on that. I, I think, did not I think stand. you said it with your pinky out. I she should be you, an English teacher. <laughs> how'd you she say did, it? <laughs> say it again with your pinky out like this? Because I think that's how you just said it right now. <laughs> I've never heard of English. I'm not saying they don't. I've never heard a British person use the word coon ever in my life. I didn't or say teach he class. said it. You, you definitely are, said he no, said it. No, you guys are misinterpreting well, they how put him for black history say. class. Time out. Listen, Wax. Black so history, but they put him in for the exactly. teacher? Exactly. So the teacher taught you the word coon, but never said the word coon. He never taught me it because I knew about it already before him. So who said the I'm word coon in the saying, class? No one said it. He refreshed it. Saying, he refreshed your memory. All he refreshed I'm your saying memory. is that I remember like not necessarily reading in the books, but we had to do projects and we had to talk about blackface, everything else like that. And they that had was within teaching a black history class. He wasn't blackface. I can see the word coon. But within no. that, but within blackface and all that other shit that happened, yes, like that word got brought up. Not necessarily him saying it. Who said? But it? I'm talking about we had to do projects like that. Co that comes but up. But it wasn't but... taught in the class. Y'all had a conversation about it amongst yeah, each other. Yeah, that's in what the I'm book. Saying, now, when I'm your friend is lying like, oh my and not making gosh. no sense, and you're around other people, <laughs> you add things I to the story you. to help her fill in the lie. That's all. That's all. I'm just all. saying, so, yeah, blackface was. I'm trying like, to throw we were, in some stuff. Yeah. We were getting taught about blackface. So let me let me understand this, Taylor. Just so I'm not missing anything. I hate y'all. English man comes to America and chooses the city of Philadelphia. Right? To teach young black kids. <laughs> to teach young First black of all, kids. I was at an all racist. white school. Okay. That's how he better. got the class. So he that's selects, how he got the job. He selects the black kids of the all white school, puts you guys in the projects, right? And then teach. What did you say? Wait, what? <laughs> no. This guy. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck was that show? She put saying, you guys in the project? She kept saying, you said, you said that he, he made no, you guys They put them the together for projects. Yeah, oh, 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 I thought he was putting <laughs> you guys in projects. <laughs> This guy is so fucking crazy. <laughs> so, I, thought, I thought he was putting you in the projects and then teach you about all the racist words that he knew from England. Yo, I was this an Mr. extra Clark. credit class or something oh, like that? Oh my God. <laughs> he said, yeah, Wax said, Mr. Clark. Like, Mr. Clark went to the projects to, to school at the girl house. <laughs> that'd, be a good, that'd be a good movie. Coon on me. No, she actually Coon looked like the uh, little mom from the, um, when she went to the house. <laughs> What you never seen Lean on Me? I only miss, I only seen parts of it, so I don't know. Okay. But you, the principal went to the house. The I, you know what I love, man? I love when your friend is lying and, she just and they just won't let it. that shit go. It's, yeah. it's, it's dope. I, I love oh commitment. God. I love the commitment. I love the commitment they are. to the lie. Creative. I love it. If, if Taylor was high, this shit would be even better, yo. Yeah. <laughs> she not I, I'm asking you again, Taylor. All jokes aside. Hypothetically, not saying you're lying, but hypothetically, you if you are, would you admit that you're lying? Because if we was on there are. with Barack and Bruce, we'd have been pressing Barack so much, he'd have moonwalked out of there. Like, he'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. 
He the moon walked out of that lie. He, he asked like, nah, um too much though, so he's so calculated. I don't think it's a lie. That's why I say I don't think so. Uh, we watched. We watched women. We watched white women put their finger in Barack's face. We watched people scream at him and call him a liar. He was too calm and calculated. He's I older said, now, though. Yeah, but, but he, he got did, Secret he, Service now. That should have been you your whole life. Like, I don't think you... I think when you have that type of makeup, you just have that kind of makeup. Yeah, your character is like a bark. If you got a bark, you got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's true. Give me a growl or something. Let I really know don't... You, you know why I don't think that's true, though? Because just based off with my father telling me how he is now, like, I don't yo, know. Yo, 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 yo. Your father not Barack Obama, yo. <laughs> I never said I know he's that a great man. I'm sure he's a great man, but he's not he Barack was. Obama. That's like when women I be like, you know was. how Beyonce <laughs> say all my single ladies? Like, yo, 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 I'm chill. giving an example you're not Beyonce, of yo. growing. Same way we got to remind you you're not Beyonce. We got to remind you that men aren't Barack either, okay? Just want to throw that out there, all right? Let's pay some bills because I got I to gotta jump on this Zoom. So let's pay some bills and I'm going to go pee and we'll pick up... Uh, after this, all after right, these perfect. methods. All right, we're going to take a break for a second, guys, because uh, some of y'all need to improve your diet. We need to step some things up, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it with Just Egg, all right? Just Egg scrambles, cooks, and tastes just like the eggs you're used to, but it's made from plants, okay? Just Egg protein is packed, but with less saturated fat, no cholesterol, and that's a big deal knowing how much cholesterol is in eggs. I mean, if you have two chicken eggs with breakfast, that's already 124% of your recommended cholesterol for the day. The science is, pl is pretty clear, okay? Plant-based diets have a dramatic improvement in everything from heart, health, to life, longevity, all right? I'm telling you, I've had these eggs. I use these eggs. This is my morning breakfast. They're absolutely delicious. And the fact that they're healthy is just a added bonus on top. It's unbelievable. This is a no-brainer. Also easy. You get a bunch of them right there. You're not going to get eggs every few days at the fucking store. I have eggs for breakfast every single day. I replace it with just eggs. Absolutely delicious. I'm telling you, just eggs is a great way to start eating more plant-based for your health without sacrificing tastes. It tastes and cooks just like conventional eggs. Put it in an omelet, scramble, French toast, banana bread, pad thai, whatever you like to do with eggs. Just Eggs is also better for the planet, using 93% fewer carbon emissions and 98% less water than a conventional egg. It takes 53 gallons of water to produce a single egg. Yes, 53 gallons. Another good reason to go plant-based. So you can find Just Egg pretty much anywhere at most grocery stores, including Whole Foods, Walmart, and Kroger, and on Amazon Prime now or Instacart. Just Egg, a better egg for you and your family. Thank you, Just Egg. It's a great product and from a company with a great mission. Proud to have you with us. Now, let's get back to the show. All right, uh, Schultz, you got any church announcements? Yo, yeah, I do. Talk to me about them things. Um. Coming back on tour, man. Uh, oh, let me take my headphones out. I'm coming back on tour, so we're going to start it up. Uh, we got a couple shows in Miami this week. I think I'm going to add a couple next week. I haven't said I'll announce the date, man. It was crazy. I felt like a fucking boy band star last week. The shows were selling hey. out so fast. But um, but yeah, go check out theandrewschultz.com. We got uh, more cities that we're adding, but yeah, we're back. We are back. It's official. Next month, we're hitting the road. And uh, go get them before they're sold out, man. Um, yeah, that's it. Absolutely. I just want to tell everybody, um, you know, continue to listen to the Black Effect Podcast Network. We launched uh, uh, the Big Payback, Reparations, the Big Payback Podcast. It's just a specialty podcast. Um, just a few episodes with Erica Alexander and uh, Whitney Dow. Just talking about um, the pros and cons of, of, of the whole reparations discussion. You know what I mean? So if you heard Herschel Walker this week, OK, and all of those questions that he was asking in regard to the reparations, uh, a lot of them they answer in this podcast. And uh, make sure you pre-order Tamika Mallory's book, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built. It'll be out uh, May 11th via Black Privilege, Simon & Schuster Publishing. And you can pre-order uh, the homie Anita Kopak's Shallow Waters. It's a fantasy novel about uh, the mermaid Yimmy Ya. That'll be out August 3rd via Black Privilege, uh, Simon & Schuster Publishing. So, you know, just go to, um, what is it? Blackprivilegepublishing.com, I believe it is. And, and you can pre-order all of that stuff. But you can pre-order both of those books wherever you buy books. So let's get back to the show. You know what I want to do a deep dive on, man? What's that? Hollywood. Ooh. And mm. how Hollywood treats humans like disposable commodities not just professionally 
like, you know, when you hot, you hot. And then when you're not so hot, you know, they on to the next thing. But even personally, personally, when you're hot, you're going through some shit. Hollywood don't give a fuck about you. Hollywood cares about Hollywood. And um, I'm talking about uh, Lakeith Stanfield, who I want to first start off by man, truly, truly, sincerely, truly, sincerely sending positive energy, love, and light to. I want to send that brother healing energy. My brother said he uh, just started therapy because the role of William O'Neill and Judas and the Black Messiah was too much for him. Oh, I come truly... on. No, let's let us let us fuck on. I hate when these actors. Let me, let, let me get this out, Schultz. Let me get this out, uh, and right. you can you can have your you can have your take. But I just want to send him healing energy because the brother truly does need therapy now. I'm going to do a quick timeline, and I got to salute Complex because Complex did a phenomenal job of putting the timeline between Charlemagne the God and Lakeith Stanfield's beef, our feud, whatever the fuck, okay? Um, <laughs> but it's not really a feud. Lakeith made some comments about black media back in 2019. He accused some black media outlets, including the Breakfast Club, of being anti-black. Um, I gave him donkey of the day because it's not like Lakeith has sat down, you know, in these white spaces and been the pillar of black excellence. You know what I mean? He's just not like he's a, a, a Malcolm X when he's sitting down because, you know, he's been questioned about systemic racism because of the roles he plays like Selma and Get Out. And instead of answering the question, the guy licks his feet and stupid stuff like that. Right. But whatever. So then he does a diss record about me called Automatic. He puts my face on a picture of Sambo. Right. I never replied to anything after that. And then we had Daniel, uh, how you pronounce the brother's last name? Daniel Kaluuya. If yeah, I'm, if I'm Daniel pronounced Kaluuya. Kaluuya. Uh, we had Daniel Kaluuya on Breakfast Club. And I was being sincere when I asked him, you know, after you finished this movie, did you look at Lakeith any different? Not, not questioning anything about Lakeith's character. It's just that when you're an actor and you get into these roles and you played Fred Hampton and you had to look across at the guy who, you know, ratted you out and ultimately is the reason you got killed, did that have any impact on you after the fact? Did you look at the guy strange? Just like I'm sure Christian Bale probably looked at Heath Ledger strange after they, they did, you know, Batman. After I'm sure they look at goddamn, uh, what's the dude that played Tariq on Power? We look at him strange every week. Whatever. I just thought that was just a regular right. question. But, you know, Daniel was like, yo, you and Lakeith still got beef. I'm like, no. Now, me being the petty person that I am, because I'm working on my petty. I've never claimed to be perfect. <laughs> when he asked me to me and Lakeith got beef, I said, no, I have no issues with the brother, but I do think he was born to play this role. Right? <laughs> okay? Take it however you want to take it. I just thought it was a funny joke. I just thought it was, you know, it was, a, little, and it was a little jab, but I feel like I might have owed him that jab because I never replied to the diss record. I never replied to him you know, putting my face on the Sambo picture. That was picture. light, though. That was Fly. light. It was a job yeah. playing. Now, and yeah. I said the brother deserves all the awards because he truly does. He did a phenomenal job in the movie. I think he should win whatever he gets nominated for. Now, Lakeith saw it. He replied on Friday. He called me a hoe, and that's what hoes do. And he was like, get up off me. Find somebody else. As if I'm picking on him. Goes back to what I was saying earlier about accountability. Right. And it goes back to what I was saying earlier about there being consequences to your actions. You can't say what you want to say and expect people not to reply. I told y'all this for years on Brilliant Idiots. And I also pointed out that he does this a lot. You know, when he had com when he made comments about Kamala Harris's hair after the last vice pres presidential debate and he got backlash for that. He jumped on social media and he said, I can say what I want and nobody's going to police what it is that I say. You can have that energy, but just know people are going to have responses to some of the things that, that you said. Now, mm. I'm cool with it. I, I, I said what I said. I think that if you can, if you, if you can dish it, you got to be able to take it, you know, um, and I still send him healing energy and I want the brother to get help right now. What really it didn't disturb me. It didn't disturb me from, for, it, it did, it did disturb me only because I don't play with stuff like this. But if you're on social media and you got my picture up and you're waving a gun at my picture. What is that? <laughs> like, to me, that's, that's wild to do, period. But it's really wild to do when you're an actor in Hollywood on the verge of real life superstardom. 
And what bothers me the most about this situation is all the calls that I've had this week, uh, or my team has had this week, and, and they're coming from, you know, his team and people around him. I haven't heard any real concern about him and his well-being. All I keep hearing is there, th- this is going to ruin his Oscar chances. This is going to ruin our Oscar chances. It's just like, I don't give a fuck about an Oscar when a guy is on Instagram waving a gun yeah, fuck an Oscar. at somebody's picture. Mm. Clearly something's not right with this young man. And it's the That's same right. young man who was screaming for help last year when he was, I think he was taking pills or something and people thought that he was saying he wanted to kill himself. Like he's displayed... A lot of, you know... It's on his Instagram? Uh, it's been taken down now because, you know, Instagram, you can't do that. You can't wait for going at somebody's yeah, picture. Wild, That's a threat. So Instagram Stay took down. it down. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of sites that still have it up. But my, my, my point is, at what point do we stop caring about our own well-being and our own self-interest and start caring about the actual interest of someone else? Clearly, this young man is crying out for help. And y'all know how I am about, you know, being a proponent for mental health and being a mental health advocate. I've seen too many people that I love and care about go down these spirals. And when I'm watching the signs, because I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm more hip to the signs now because of the fact I've had people, you know, snap, commit suicide, you know what I mean? And, and, and seeing other people and, and how, 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 how they can get manic. When I start seeing certain things, I'm like, um, y'all need to get that brother some help, man, and get him some help now, like like right now, so that's that's all. Make I just sure want to act though. Make sure it's not an act. Make sure he doesn't act out just to try to get away from things. People with stuff, we look at him like because if he's just a regular dude out here mm-hmm. doing that, bro. Well, on. listen. Even if it is an act, to your point, wax. Even if it is just an act, that's still an act that can land you in jail. You're on it's fucking clowning. Instagram, yeah. waving a gun at somebody's picture. The feds are always watching. They're always waiting to see somebody get jammed up, especially a black man. So why would you put yourself in that position to where you could get jammed up by the authorities? Even if, like, let's just say hypothetically, there is no mental health issues. Yeah. What? That's just a poor choice. Wow. So why would you make such a poor choice that could probably cost you opportunities in the future? I don't understand it. For what? It's a mental something right here. There's something's not right. So either way, whether it's mental health issues or him just making poor choices, if you love that brother, man, Sit down and have a conversation with him. Pull him to the side, man. Give him some real game. I don't know if he got any OGs in his life. I don't know that he don't. I don't know if he got any friends in his life. Just somebody sit the brother Lakeith Stanfield down and have a real conversation with him because he's so talented. Everybody knows that. He's an amazing, amazing actor. I'm just tired of seeing people get in their own way. That's, 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 that's a pet peeve of mine. I really don't like seeing people get in their own way. And I don't like seeing people self-destruct when they got the world, they they got the world at their feet, but they just make poor choices Mm. that can cause all of that to go away. Or he may really be dealing with some mental health issues. And if he is, he needs to get help. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah, this took a turn for the serious. I thought we were going to have some fun with this. Uh, <laughs> this guy. This guy. This guy. <laughs> That's why I said this maybe guy. he's not mental. Now we get to play. But I'm, glad you, uh, stopped me in the, I'm glad you stopped me in the beginning. But um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just think it's just I get so annoyed when actors try to make their job uh, seem like it's important. You know, as a, I, I, I played this role and it was so hard for me and I had an emotional breakdown. So uh, shut up and say the words the other people wrote for you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> you didn't write any of the words. Somebody yeah, handed Jamie's you the Spock's fucking words. Good. You say the fucking words. Then you go back to craft <laughs> services. You eat some muffins. They switch around the cameras. Then you go back there and you say the same fucking fucking words from another oh, angle Lord. it's the easiest most boring job on the face of the universe and if you need <laughs> therapy to handle saying the words the other people wrote for it you are a weak individual that's what he's saying weak. that's what it is i was gonna that's say too do you this. think that you, what I happened you started saying actor. the words and then you thought you were him you you literally tricked yourself into thinking you were him <laughs> I remember, I remember, I remember, hey. I did one, I did a, you were, somebody was you know watching it, no, I think it was Duval was watching it, I did some episodes of, um, of this show on fucking Amazon, what was that shit called? 
don't know. Some, Brian Cranston something. was in it. The he, dude, Sneaky Pete, right? I did a oh, few yeah, episodes yeah, yeah. of Sneaky Pete, and I'm doing it with this guy. I forget his name. He was in Gone 60 Seconds, tons of movies. He's the star of the fucking thing, right? We do, we finish the scene. We got to walk back to, to our trailers, right? And this guy's talking to me in the same accent that he was doing in the scene. Hmm. He's in character. He stayed in character. Yeah, like I said, cut that. that shit out, bro. I'm not doing none of that. We're not doing this, bro. I'm asking you about your real life. You're like, yes, I married my wife when we were 20 years old. <laughs> and uh, it was very great. We had very special kids. Kid is still in California. I'm like, we're not going to do this, bro. We're not going to do this. You're taking this shit too yeah. serious. You're taking this shit That's way too serious. That's what I think they're supposed to do. No, nah. well, it was well, a serious situation. Well, no, I think uh, which, which, to Schultz's point, I think that, you know, that's we're talking about two different things. Like, I don't know. I'm not an actor, so I don't know how deep people get in the character. I don't know if you can get yeah. lost in your role or not. I have no idea. I think that one of the things that would uh, keep me from getting lost in a role is knowing that it's just a role. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Maybe he enjoyed that shit too much. Maybe yeah, he, it's a role. Yo, maybe like, he was getting therapy because he was really sad when he had to stop saying the lines. He was <laughs> like, nah, that shit was kind of fun. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, just, I don't know. I oh. was going to say, though, is he a good actor? or? Nah, he's nice. Me, he's nice. It, it seems, we'll no, he, no, he is. But he's I'm really saying, good actor. At the same time, he also plays... What other movies have you seen him in besides... He was in Get Out. Get he out. was in um, he's Sorry in to ATL. Bother You. Atlanta. He was in Sorry to Bother You. He was in Selma. Yeah. He's on Atlanta all the time. But I'm saying, though, they kind of portray in a way the same kind of character. No, oh. absolutely not. A Atlanta, little bit. No. Atlanta, a little no bit. way. No way. I'm talking about the blood no and nose guy, right? Yeah, no way. No, dude, the character he's... in Get Out is totally different than William O'Neill. But... Uh, Darnell or Darrell, I can't remember his name in Atlanta. Not, but he it's was totally short. different than what he played in Sorry to Bother You. No, Lakeith is a beast. He's. I've actually said... And I've said this publicly several times. Lakeith Stanfield and Jason Mitchell, to me, were the best black actors of this generation. I think I yes. said this about, about five Kulia? years ago. You, you, I, put, I put Daniel in that category now. I do. He's, he's nice. There's no question whether he's Beast. nice or not. I'm not Beast. questioning that at all. Nice and That's unique in the way he plays the roles. Like, it doesn't look like he's doing an impression of someone else. He is yes. he's being, he's creating these characters. He's nice at it. But it's acting at the end of the day. Like, yeah, but you, let's you get have over to go this into shit. It. But I'm not an actor either, but I feel like, so you both watch um, Euphoria, right? Yeah. Think about Zendaya. Do you see her latest um, episode with it? Like that's yeah, a deep but, role you have to like get yourself but, in. But how do we know Zendaya, how do we know Zendaya uh doesn't have trouble getting out of that role? We don't know. Zendaya I, might be Zendaya might go to therapy too. Exactly Zendaya, though. Zendaya that's might what I'm have, saying. But we don't know. Zendaya might have a, a hard time disconnecting as well. We don't exactly, know. Exactly, but that's what I mean. So we can't throw it but show us what you're saying about Lakeith saying like is come he on, just reading on, some yo. lines. Oh, I'm not I'm not dismissing I'm not dismissing what Lakeith going through. Yo, I mean, yo, yo. Shows I, is. I am, Show, that's I Show's am. opinion. Yeah, that's Show's opinion. <laughs> I'm dismissing it. Show's opinion. I'm dismissing it. I don't want to hear no actors complain. I hate it when models complain. You don't know how modeling, how hard modeling is. We have to wake up at six in the morning and stand still. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, you don't even know what it's like to be on the beach and just stand still. Get out of here. Everybody wants to act like they got the hardest job. I'm sure we do it too. Yeah. I'm sure we complain about podcasting. Everybody thinks their job is the hardest fucking job in the world. It ain't. We got it amazing. We get to come God here and talk you. shit. If you ever hear me bitching about it, slap me in my fucking face. I'm not bitching about it. If you're an actor, you get to be a famous celebrity. The world fucking loves you. You got to deal with one radio guy making fun of you and then you fall apart. Cut that shit out and stop and by the way, like your job and is hard. And by the way, Schultz, I wasn't even making fun of him. I was, I replied to him about the anti-black stuff, and then he put me on, put my picture on Sambo, did the diss record about me, and he did like this long YouTube rant about me. I ain't even reply. Complex said that you called him a hoe. You might. Oh, he called me a hoe. I didn't call him a hoe. You don't can't even read. That's not That's... what they said. No, it's not. Re now watch this. <laughs> read, read what it said. Go ahead, read what there it said, Taylor. Read what it said. <laughs> I know they, they, they said go. he he called me a hoe. Read it though. Go ahead. It says Charlemagne the guy responsible to Keith Stanford calling him a. Oh, I see what I'm saying. Another way, sorry. See what I'm saying. You're right, you're right. You see, yeah. how, see how, how I said it out loud when I read it. That's in why I don't read. Thing. If <laughs> I read, I probably hear some same shit. My bad, my bad. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. You know, sorry. you know what y'all sound like right now, coons. Sorry. Coons, <laughs> coons reinforce negative stereotypes of black sorry. people, and I want to say so bad, y'all just don't read. Yeah, I, I didn't. Don't. I never mind. Jesus, that's why I don't no read. Excuse. I, I don't want to mix shit up. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> if she ain't read that, she wouldn't have mixed it up. So I, I read it out video. loud and I realized it. Let me Come ask on. you this question, Schultz. I got um, the video, though. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second, pay some bills, because you need to step your business game up, and that means you need to get a website, okay? This is very simple. If you do not have a website, you do not have a business that is legitimate. I'm not going to a restaurant that doesn't have a website. I'm not trusting a lawyer that doesn't have a website. I'm not buying a motorcycle from a place that doesn't have a website. A website is a must. This is your destination. This is more important than brick and mortar. I use tons of businesses that do not have a brick and mortar traditional store on Fifth Avenue. I would never use a business that does not have a website. Where are you going to get your website for your upcoming businesses? How are you going to legitimize your upcoming legitimize your upcoming businesses? You're going to go to Squarespace. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It is the easiest way to customize and make your website look unique. Okay, so many different templates. They have the 24-7 uh, customer support. I'm telling you, there is no easier way to build a website. It is unbelievable how easy it is. So you are going to do it. Do not be scared. Be determined. I promise you, go play around with it. You can play around with it for free. And then when you're ready to actually launch and go, you make sure you go to squarespace.com slash idiot and you save 10% off that first purchase of a website or domain. Get it all done right there. Squarespace, Squarespace legitimize your business. Now let's get back to the show. Do you think actors, do you think some people, you think if you don't know who you are, if you personally don't know who you are, but you're always playing the role of other people, do you think that can have some type of impact on you? Uh, I think it's easier. I think it's easier to return to center when you truly know who you are. Yeah, yeah, that's that's there's truth to that. Uh, that's true. I think it's difficult if you don't know who you are to be in any environment because you're just kind of grasping at tra straws, trying to that's get real. in where you fit in. But that's an emotional issue that's bigger than like acting being hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, know. listen, man, I uh, uh, I, listen, I, all I want to say is I don't know what's going on with the brother, but I will repeat what I said, whether it's making poor choices, because getting on Instagram and waving a gun mm -hmm. at somebody else's picture is a poor choice. Did, <laughs> right? did Precious need you, therapy, bro? Did Precious does, need therapy, bro? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I don't know. Like, I really don't. If, I don't know. If acting is that crazy, Precious needs all the therapy, right? Because her role I'm, was the craziest of all, right? Yeah, I mean, she, she might have. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Afterwards, the reactions know. people gave her afterwards. Nah, Denzel, she probably said, shrugged Denzel that shit off. Everything. Did her fucking thing. You know? Here's the thing, though. But you had to remember, like, li sorry, go ahead. No, I'm saying he was display displaying erratic, somewhat manic behavior prior to the role, is what I'm saying. So I'm, all I'm simply saying is at what point Hollywood, at what point Friends of Lakeith, at what point, you know, OGs yeah. of Lakeith, do y'all be like, all right, this, what's up, my brother? You you need some help, especially when the brother was online last year saying he was alluding to the fact that he possibly might want to kill himself. Yeah, like no, at no, what no, point do people yeah. intervene? Nah, is that's what I'm not saying. Hollywood. Hollywood is ride that bitch till the wheels fall off, and then that's find right. a new bitch to ride till the wheels fall off. That's the and that's system. The and that's, that's the, the problem game. I have. Yep, hey, look, I'm look, I, I have a problem with it as a human, and I have a problem with the people who are so called friends you know, that aren't doing anything, that aren't intervening. I have a problem with that, but I don't have a problem with the system that does that because if I had a problem with that, I'd say we got to get rid of the NFL too. NFL is oh, ride CTE? that bitch to the wheels yeah. fall off. You got to know if you're in this game, they you are a valuable until you're valueless. And the second you're that's valueless, right. they say, fuck you. And that's why I keep I mean, a certain energy when it play. comes with, you know, execs and all that kind of shit. Like even the execs, that like really put me on and really fuck with me, even at MTV. Those execs didn't even tell me before my contract was cut off, before my contract stopped. I had to, I had to reach out to them two weeks before. I was like, yo, is this renewed? They're like, oh, my bad, it's not. So you knew me for years. We're supposed yeah. to be friends, texts and all that shit. I got a fucking mortgage and you weren't going to just reach out and just let me know, hey, by the way, you're going to stop making six figures from us. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we don't, yeah. don't need you no more. They are completely yeah. fine with you going away. And I'm fine yeah. with that as long as that's a relationship. But let's not act like we can be chummy chummy, but let's let's be honest about what the relationship is. If it's if it's business, let's just keep it business. But you know, don't act like we family, don't act like we friends and this and that, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you have to know that. You should know that when you walk into any of these rooms. Yes. You should know that when you walk into, you know, any of these buildings. You know what I mean? But one thing about me, I'm gonna carry myself. 
the way I carry myself regardless. Meaning, like, if I say I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Mm -hmm. If you don't really fuck with me like that, that's your loss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's on you. Yeah, like, I don't no sleep. Yeah, I don't expect me from other people. You know what I mean? Like, I just I just don't. Executives and everything. So, yeah, I, guess, I mean. I guess that's why I'm saying, like, I don't really do any, like, friendship type of deals, be it with networks or anything, because I know I'm here because I got heat, not because we're homies. So don't ask right. for the homie discount because you weren't trying to get the deal before I had the heat, right? That's right. You want a heat discount, and guess what? Ain't no discounts for heat. You know what I That's mean? Right. Like, heat comes That's at right. a premium, yeah, right? I guess, I mean, essentially what we're, what we're saying is these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. No. So you, you, better, you better give a fuck about yourself. And you know what I mean? If you care about an individual... You know what I mean? Be there to care for that person. I don't see a lot. And I listen, I could be wrong because I'm not in per people's everyday lives. I'm just simply saying based off a lot of the things I was hearing this week from people that are in his camp and in his team and, you know, that that he's worked for and worked with. All I heard was concern about, you know, Os Oscar buzz not happening. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? I didn't hear nothing. And even, and by the way, even this is why I don't put no stock in the social media either. Social media thinks that shit is normal. We we so desensitized to people making threats online and people pulling out pistols nothing. and all this other stuff. Like that shit is nothing. Like it, it's like Charlemagne, you, you gave him donkey today. Charlemagne, leave him alone. Like listen, I'm like first of all, I'm not bothering this dude. Like, this dude Yo, said something and I replied. I was that Yo, okay. There's another thing. Like, if you hate the role, don't do it. Like, I never understood the motherfuckers that, like, they take the role in the herpes commercial, the herpes medication commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and then when people see them in real life, they're like, oh, no, nah, that's dude herpes. herpes. Like, yeah. what? Like, you want to be famous so bad, you're willing to be famous for needing herpes medication? Like, there's so many roles that people <laughs> tried to offer me that I said no, because I don't want to be that guy. I just don't oh. like the, I, I don't like the character. I do not like that character you want me to be, so I'm not going to play it. So if you hate the character, why the fuck you going to do the role? That yeah, is mind-boggling to me. I, 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 was, I was about to chase a dude in the, um, in the airport because he called me doodle hands. You are doodle hands. Yeah, and doodle I told him, bro. That's, Yo, that's, that's his fault. It. That's it, right, it, 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 don't, it don't matter. Like I just said, I put that on myself. Now I'm the guy called me doodle hands. I was about to chase him in the airport. I was like, <laughs> I dare you go in that fucking bathroom. He's just saying no fucking now, time out. Now, now, you can't be the guy who got on a podcast Come and on. told people that you caught shit exactly. on I the toilet. Them and then catch and, their and, shit. And, and I'm then, like, how you doing? But listen, then you threaten the guy by saying, you better not go in that bathroom. I'd be terrified no, I that didn't doodle listen, hands is going to come in there, I, kick the stall in, and try to catch my shit <laughs> as I'm taking a shit. No, I didn't. Listen, I'm like, if in the, down the airport, I can't beat them up. Everybody out there, if you go in that bathroom, no, ain't no cameras in the fucking bathroom. You at least smack the shit out of them or something. But consequences, though. You got, like, what we was talking about earlier with Bobby Spurrier and Roddy Rebel. You got to deal with the consequences of your actions. That's why I said it's on me. Wax is doodle hands. <sighs> Wax got on the podcast. <laughs> <sighs> Have you ever peed on someone, too, then? If you're going to throw shit on them? Who's throw shit on Hey, go tell her. We on the way I to Philly. She's like, nope, we going to D.C. Turn this goddamn car. Let me whip this car. We <laughs> on the way to Philly. She's like, now fuck that. We going to make a hard left and go back to D.C. She's sex is over there. Jesus Christ. I just saw Taylor. the video, by Y'all talking about shit and you I saw the video. SLP. I saw the video. And uh, yeah, he looks he looks like he might need a little help, man. I don't mean that exactly. in way. I don't mean that I'm in glad you said anyway. I, I mean it in like a serious way. Like, it's easy to go through emotional shit. I don't know if that shit is inspired by a role. Usually that is baked into your DNA, mm -hmm. right? Or they're yeah. baked into your life story. That's so I, I, I hope he gets some help. I hope there's people in his corner that are willing to, you know, tell him, hey, maybe, maybe go, maybe go chat with somebody. That could be helpful. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. There's no, there's no way you can. And, and it's, I saw when he posted the video and I saw like people laughing and I'm, I literally was sitting down like, I don't get what's funny about this. Not fuck me. About that. Yeah, mm. not funny fuck, about that, bro. Fuck me. Fuck the fact he was pointing the picture at me. If if he was pointing that gun at anybody's picture, I'd be like, yo, what's wrong with this dude? Like, that's, that's honestly what I would be thinking. I'm like, yo, this dude needs some help. So the boy's going to come see him. You think, you think law enforcement probably ain't already knocked on his door? You think law enforcement don't reach out to our team? Like, yo, yeah, is, this a, is, this a, is this a threat? That like, gun registered. Like, like, you seriously. Gotta... That's what happened. That's what you stupid motherfuckers don't understand about this yeah. social media on, shit. Bro. It's people sitting back 
police officers, law enforcement watching this type of shit. That's their and job. And they monitor these kind of things. Like, <laughs> hey, is everything okay? Do we need to, hey, uh, maybe should we go pay a visit to this guy? Like, this guy is, yeah. this guy is threatening people online with a pistol. What do y'all think comes of this shit? Like, mm. do you think people just post things and, you know, Instagram just takes it down because it's the right thing to do? <laughs> no! <laughs> like, no! This shit is illegal. And that's, that's a threat. Like, it's a it's threat. not a game. But that's my other point. My other point is too, it's simple. Either you're really dealing with some real mental health issues, and if that's the case, I want you to go get some healing energy. I want you to go to therapy. I want you to take care of that. Or you're just making really poor choices, my brother. And one thing about making poor choices you're going to have to deal with the consequences and repercussions of those poor choices. Doodle hands. Yeah. Simple as that. You, <laughs> but you, you, hey, listen, real, real man, shit. You call, but at least that's not criminal. No, I get what you're saying, but regardless of the consequences of your actions. And I told him that. I told Wax that, though. I said, Wax. I think you started. Remember, and then it was another time Taylor came, right? And Taylor was like, hey, I got this clip of Wax talking. To, it was another doodle clip. And I'm like, yo, oh, why yeah. y'all want my guy to be shit, yo, man? What you, why would you do oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you said it. I, I, I like, said it, but I probably said it. I don't know. What was it about? It was something about... You said something... I, I forgot. I it was something about what you did. I remember. But it's something... Probably I take a shit with, with my feet in cold water. All I know is I was like, Taylor, we're not doing it. I said, I'm not, I said, why you keep trying to paint my guy as shit, man, yo? He does it to himself. He oh. does. He does. Right, no, Are you no. serious? No, you one do, thing, that's one you, do, you do this yourself. I, I would say about... You literally <laughs> brought up shit by yourself today. Yeah. You right. literally 50 just... I'm, just can't, I'm trying to help the conversation. Shit. It was great. Yeah, my <laughs> actions. You don't want to be dirty diaper, bro. That's it, man. He called me dude the head. I would have fuck his ass remember up. Remember our boy Potter? <laughs> our boy, I salute to my <laughs> guy, Dre. Remember he called Dre? <laughs> I'm glad he's like, you want me to get this nigga? Yeah, just fuck. This nigga call you that what shit. What used to call Dre? A, a baby pep or, or, or... Dirty diaper? Dirty diaper. Dirty diaper. Like that. Wax got so mad when this dude called off on boy Dirty man, Diaper. Fucking so fucking dirty. You let this nigga talk to you? I can wedge you this nigga. Real quick. Why he I, I can get the laughs back. Why do you call you him Dirty Diaper? I don't know. Because he got a big ass. And you know how babies look when they get <laughs> And I ain't like the joke. I'm like, yo, this is my guy. Like, yo. <laughs> no, shitty pamper. That's what shitty it was. Diaper. Shitty, shitty diaper. diaper. It was shitty <laughs> diaper. That's what it was. Shitty That's diaper. That's the only way you can comment on another man's ass size, bro. Like, <laughs> like shitty That's diaper. Because like, like, he basically said he got a fat ass. I guess that sagging. I guess that sagging, right? sexual. <laughs> Shitty diaper. Yo, that's crazy as hell, yo. Yeah. I'm at, yo, by the way, that should be the new wave to say a man got a fat ass. Yeah, yeah. You when a man it. walks in the room, yeah. you just point, you tap your boy like, shitty diaper. Shitty then you and nah. him start laughing. I think because he was sagging, must be. <laughs> nah, like, shitty dude. diaper. He you had the no poo poo ass. pampers, bro. You got to be careful with those. <laughs> <laughs> it was because it's sagging. <laughs> I guess it's sagging. Like, when you sagging, like a shitty diaper. Nah, man. I thought nah. it was because he said he had a big ass. I ain't know nothing nah, about bro. that. Y'all looking at asses? <laughs> nah, that, that, I really be pissed <laughs> off Wax. now. No. I'm like, yo, what the fuck you let Wax, this nigga talk about you got a fat ass? You hang out with guys who are thick, bro. You hang out with the, the guys who got the donkey, bro. The fucking hee-haw. Powder, you hear they talking about you? <laughs> yeah. All your boys got fat asses, Wax. Yo, why all your, why all your boys got fat Listen, asses? Man, I don't know nothing. Somebody Said that about Wax the other day too. They was like, yeah, they couldn't tell the difference. No, I didn't. It was him. <laughs> they couldn't tell. They couldn't tell. Hey, they they couldn't tell the difference between Wax and Taylor. Yo, was, <laughs> yo, I'm serious. That's crazy. Well, I, well, I'm two fifty. So God to, damn. Right, so you need to know, know the difference mad, between it's us. Insulting, two. actually. Huh? That's mad insulting. Up. That's well, honestly, fucked up for Taylor, you to even compare. Honestly, Schultz, Taylor, Schultz, if I'm you say something honest, disrespectful, no, let different. me tell you something. No. I'm going to Miami <laughs> soon, right? Can I be it's honest different with though. You? Wax six two though. How tall you wax? Yeah. Wax six two, Taylor, it looked different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally yours different. looks bigger because it's on a smaller frame. Wait, hold on, what did you say? Yours looks bigger because it's on a smaller frame, but wax got the hee haw. He do. You he do. got the fucking. <laughs> what the y'all talking he about? Do. I don't know what this is. He, he, I'm tell, I told him, I said, you turning into a little button gut, man. Yeah. This little button. First, tell me what a hee haw is. <laughs> before I even. I, I ain't getting thick, man. I'm, I'm working out, man. Tone, I'm coming to see you as soon as I get out of here. Why you are thick, though? You mean I'm nah, thick? You can't. I'm <laughs> up, man. Listen, you got pregnant wax. with Carla. It's okay. Be honest, Wax. I'm Be honest, Tone, wax. I'm coming to see you. I'm on the way, bro. Bicycle helmet. Nope. He got pregnant with Carla, bro. What'd you say? <laughs> At least your Yo. head matches your body now. Wax. Be honest, bro. I see you sitting a little higher on that seat. 
<laughs> you little propped up. Yeah, man. Thick, 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 thick. Yo. <laughs> Come on. That shit rocked up. So, how many push ups can you do? I bet you can still do more push ups than you. Yo, it's mad people hey, with listen, big asses and listen. big stomachs that can do mad push ups, man. What you mean? What that mean? I bet you could do more squats than me with your thick ass. <laughs> Who started hey, this? Hey, time out, time out. I told y'all I got that video of Wax. Boy, Wax was showing off in Anguilla, man. This guy. They was calling him Wax the Stallion on the island. Because nice he was on the bike. And he was, yeah, he was doing this shit on the bike. Stop. 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 That was, that was Stop. Willie on the fucking bike. Oh. He was, was crybaby in that bike, bro. He did the crybaby challenge on that bike. Oh my God, hey, he did the listen. Wax did the crybaby challenge on the island. The, the women on the island started throwing beads. <laughs> How he know he's gone? He's he was bouncing on that shit, man. Lord have Four mercy. Life, bike life. Rest in peace, Rest Shaq. Yeah, Rest in peace, Shaq. Listen, me and Shaq, Shaq doing yep. willies, man. Yep. That whole day. Yep, Shaq, Shaq committed suicide. God bless that brother. That's what I'm saying. You just don't oh. know what people are going through. That's you, all you I'm saying. You would never ever think that. I, nope. I, I still. I, wait, I know I, him. How we on this all of a sudden, bro? We, <laughs> oh, no, we was quick. Just I was just talking, fun, cause, bro. Yeah, <laughs> nah, cause we both we both was we both was doing. You got that video, release, man? <laughs> with, with wax bust, popping that popping that pussy for a goon. Oh, I have to find it. Bike. I probably do have it. Popping that pussy it. for a goon. <laughs> popping that, that pamper, pamper, bro. What you got me? I got, I got a bunch of... <laughs> popping that pamper for a goon. <laughs> Wax was goon. popping that it. shitty pamper for a I goon. I got a lot of... You got a video of me on the bike? If you got that video... I, I have to find it. We gonna put a uh, thick... Thick, 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 thick. If you see the shit, you your <laughs> My shit on the on the four wheel. I'm official on the four wheel. Nah, he was. Money. He was bouncing that shit. He looked like he was doing the crybaby challenge. Remember when Megan was doing this shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was doing, and that shit was wild. You know I've never seen myself really. I guess oh, other people shit. look at it different, but I think I'm doing good. He was bouncing that ass. Bounce that <laughs> ass. Doom, 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 doom. Yo, wax. If you drop your Yo. keys, how you go get them? I don't get it. Like, do you like... <laughs> Shorts wear short shorts. Oh, no. Hey! <laughs> that was the busted challenge! What? Woo! Shorts hit that busted challenge! That's that what busted that? challenge one time for the one time! You said if I drop my keys... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's something he learned out there. A new dance in Miami. He tried to show that's it off. That's that busted challenge. That's, that's that what that was. Bro. You was out there in the club. <laughs> Come on, Wax. You never bust it, bro? Come nah. on. Oh, uh. listen. Did you hear about the Columbia <laughs> University? We got any more ads? Yo, to I never told off? you what, what I wanted what? to do with the busted challenge. What? Man, I had a great idea, but I couldn't put it together, man. Tell me. Talk to me. We might end oh, up cutting this. Challenge. We might end up With cutting this light? part. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> so this, the beginning of the busted challenge is like you're walking sexy and then you're about to drop, right? Mm, yeah. One. Okay. So what if I was walking sexy and then I dropped it and then when the picture came up, it was uh, Rosa Parks on the bus. All right, okay. listen, oh y'all. Let's God. make some good. <laughs> Alex, 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 where you at, Alex? Jesus Christ. Dude, Alex, you ain't swinging on him? Where you we at? Already, oh, we pay, oh my God. Did we pay some bills already? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we're listen. about to. Where's Alex? Let's, Let's pay some bills. Let's pay some bills. That would be fire. Let's Bust pay it. some bills. Let's Bust pay some it. bills. Let's pay some bills. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it. I just got it. You just got it now? Oh, I've been doing it. You just got it? Alex, yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just got it. I just know. That's me. actually no. Come on, that's funny. Tell I thought me he was, funny. No, I thought he was. I thought he was being disrespectful, trying to put Rosa Parks in the sexual. But no, that's no, that's actually. Funny. That's just cool. No, no that's funny, yo. That's Alex, funny. get him, Alex. That's Bust funny. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Bust that's it. funny. <laughs> That's nah, comedy, that's bro. That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's that's comedy, busted. bro. That's I'm busted. not gonna lie. That's kind of funny. She, she would have been in the front of the bus, actually. Bust it, bro. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> no, no, bust I just got it. I just yeah. I, it, it hit me late. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's bike history, my Charlotte. It hit me late. It hit me late. It hit me late. Listen, did, let's pay some bills. We did. No. Okay. I Listen, paid them all. Let's do some uh, shit you won't care about next week. Did you see the Columbia University professor who says he uses heroin for work-life balance? Yo, uh. I saw that. That dude's been wild. He's been trying to get drugs legal and, like, remove the stigma from drugs. And yeah, I think... we, had him on, we had him on Breakfast Club. Oh, word? 
Yeah, by the time, well, we putting this out today, so he'll be on uh, tomorrow on Breakfast Club. <laughs> and what was it like? I listen, man. I, I here's the thing. I read, I read, I read some of his book. I agree with him, and I've been felt like this that I think drugs do need to be legalized. I don't think you should be putting people in jail when they have a problem, when they're meth addicts, heroin addicts, right. crack, cocaine, whatever. Like, there's no need. Like those 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 drug laws that fucking Joe Biden wrote, the 86 mandatory minimum sentencing, 88 crack laws. They were they're harsh. You don't put people in jail for put fucking hospital, a 20 a rock. You know what I mean? For 10 years, you don't put people in jail for you know an ounce of weed for ten, whatever. You don't do that. Put them in rehab, right? Mm -hmm. So what 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 this guy saying, Doctor uh, Carl? Um, uh, Hart. What's or his something? name? Was it I think it's Doctor Carl Hart. Um, what he's saying is. You know, they got these places around the world that are like centers, right? And you can go to these centers and, you know, you can do a certain amount of drugs, blah, blah, blah. It's like a, it's basically a safe space for drugs because his thing is people are going to do it anyway. Yeah. Let's figure out a safe way for them to do it. My thing is, fuck all that. Let's put the money and the resources in therapy, right? And rehab and get these people clean and provide them opportunities, right? Mm. And then on another note, you got a lot of people who are dealing with trauma. And when you're dealing with trauma, you want to self-medicate. So that's why you get on drugs, right? His, his thing is, he just wanted to know the effects of heroin because he's a professor who, who, who teaches about this stuff. So he wanted to know all about the nar <laughs> narcotic. To me, that's coming from a real place of privilege. And that's coming from a real place of luxury. When you talk about you did heroin in Switzerland and then was able to go to this facility, that's coming from a real place of luxury and privilege. Poor and disenfranchised people can't move like that. And what type of mind do you have to where you can do a hard drug and not get addicted? How do you know the difference? How do you know the difference between somebody who can do a hard drug, not get addicted, and somebody else who can do a hard drug and, you know, be fine? I don't know. I don't know. And then he know. talked about... Um, you know, I was just asking him, well, what makes you an addict then? What makes you a user? Like, I could do heroin once and overdose, you know? I could do heroin once and flip out and <laughs> ignore all my responsibilities for that day or hurt somebody. Like, I don't know. Like, so what makes you an you addict? And then I asked him, I said, because he kept saying, you know, as, as long as you're functioning, as long as you have a functioning household, everything's fine, right? So I was like, all right, so let's say you're married, happily married, your, your, your marriage is functioning well, but you cheat every now and then. Does that make you a cheater? Yes. You're so cheating. But not if the, if the household's in order and everything's functioning yeah. right and your your marriage isn't being... So what? You're so cheating. You're cheating, but you're not well, addicted to cheating. Well, he's addicted. He's a crackhead. You're not addicted to cheating. You're not an addict, but you're not, a cheater. You a cheater. use pussy. You don't, you're not addicted to pussy. I don't know. All I know is I agree with him as far as legalizing drugs, but I can't never get on some just say yes shit. I can't never tell somebody, yo, yeah, do heroin for recreation. I've never, yeah. not her heroin. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's in it's in all the drugs though, like the codeine, the oxycodone, all that type of stuff. All that stuff is dope at the end of the day. They just that's the fun way to do it instead of yeah. keeping it on the streets. But all that stuff can be abused. I got addicted to painkillers at one point in my life. You when did. I got into this real, shit up. Yeah, when I got into I got into this real bad car accident, and and I'm sure I told this story before, but I was I was I was super drunk, and I didn't have a seatbelt on. And being that I was super drunk, the impact didn't kill me because I was driving a white lumina caravan. The caravan flew up in the air and literally wrapped around a tree. It wrapped around a tree like a U. And I flew out the back of it because I didn't have a seatbelt on. Because if I had a seatbelt on, I'd have got crushed inside of it. And being that I was so drunk, motherfucking, the impact, you know, didn't kill me. And so from that accident, they had me on oxy, oxys. Yeah. Them shit is great. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> like, you make me feel too dopish. I can't do it. You fuck forever on them shit. Like, them shit was great. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but how long does it take for it to go in? Like, I like, don't remember. Uh -huh. I don't remember all that. I just remember that at that moment in my life. And I remember saying to myself, I think it was, I think I read something about Brett Favre or somebody. Yeah. Being addicted to them shit. And I was like, man, let me get the fuck. Let me leave these shit the fuck. A lot of yeah. people are doing that. Even people with toothaches and all the people who have surgeries. Hey, man. Them the motherfuckers who addicted first. That shit. Who dicked what? I said they're addicted <laughs> first. Oh, I, they get addicted. I, That's your yeah, word. Man. I Come heard on, you say man. motherfuckers with missing teeth get the dick first. They That's what I heard you say. Out of control, bro. <laughs> <Dude. That's crazy. laughs> they say hey. them toothless blowjobs is different. I don't know, Wax. I don't. Bust That's it. what he said. Bust it. What he said? Bust it. <laughs> Bust it. <laughs> Awesome. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because uh, a lot of you are not hydrated enough. Simple as that. 
You're not drinking enough fucking water. And we're about to change that with liquid death. Okay, we're going to murder your thirst with the most delicious water on the planet. Yeah, I know it looks like a beer can if you're watching online, if you're watching on YouTube, but it's not. Okay, it's water from the Alps somewhere. Not exactly sure which Alps, but they make some delicious goddamn water. Now, here's the deal. Mm. If you care about the environment, some of you do, some of you don't. But the reality is if we don't get plastic pollution under control, plastic will outweigh fish in the ocean by 2050. That is a sad thing. Liquid death does not use plastic. We're using straight beer cans for our water. Matter of fact, it looks like beer if you're looking right now. Now, you know you're supposed to drink a lot of water, but you're not doing it. When you have it in the can, you just pound it. All right. You're not leaving it around. You're not throwing the top on, leaving it somewhere. You crack open that can. You actually end up drinking more water. This is better for you. It is more comfortable. You're holding the can. You're ready to go. It feels nice in your hand. I'm telling you, best way to drink water you could possibly imagine. A lot of people, you're going through life dehydrated. You need to stop it immediately. So this is what we're going to do. OK, you can go right now to liquiddeath.com slash idiots, all right? When you go to liquiddeath.com slash idiots, you're going to get two free koozies with your first order of any case of water at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Just hit up their merch store, add the koozie two-pack if you want, and you'll get it for free with your first case only at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. I'm telling you, this is the most delicious water you've ever had. You're having it in a can. You're taking care of the environment. And let's be honest, you want water delivered right to your house. You don't want to go to the store and carry around a fucking 24 pack all day. This is the no brainer way where you get the water in the most convenient way possible. That's best for the environment. A win, a win, and a win. Go to liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Now let's get back to the show. <laughs> Give us some more shit we won't care about next week. Cam Newton. Oh man, that sh- now that shit was funny as That's fuck. Funny. What? Did you see Cam Newton? <laughs> oh yeah, getting, getting told off by the kid. Yo, you gotta insert that. That's sh- I'm gonna tell you why that shit was funny. What you think about that? Yeah, what you think about that? I was that kid. Yeah. I was the kid. If somebody like Cam Newton had came to our school, or I was at his camp, I was gonna bring this motherfucker back down to reality just because of my insecurity. Mm. That's about to say. <laughs> Just because of my fucking low self-esteem and the fact that I might have been in pain and wanted to cause him some pain. But no, I'm going to tell you what Cam fucked up. Cam fucked up by telling that little boy, I'm rich. I oh, don't give what? a shit. Now I'm really about to let these jokes fly on you. Yeah. When Cam said, he messed up. Cam said, I'm rich. And that little boy said, you about to be poor because <laughs> yeah. you, you a free agent. I was like, this little boy is gold. What Cam should have <laughs> said to him was, Yo, you're right, I am a free agent. But guess what? You're at my camp because you want to do everything that I've already done. Oh. Got a scholarship. I went to Auburn. That's how he should have done I won a national championship. I won a Heisman Trophy. Mm-hmm. I was the first pick in the NFL draft. I won an MVP. I took a team to the Super Bowl. I made a lot of money. You know, things happen. Everybody not Tom Brady. You know what I mean? But you're here because you want to do at least a quarter of, of, of what it is that I want to do. Then I would have said, now, where's your daddy? Oh, you don't got one. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna take it, you gonna take it right with him. <laughs> no, but that's how Cam should have handled it. He should have handled it like that instead of just going to, I'm rich. Yeah, you okay. can't play with these kids anyway. They got way more jokes. And they're, they're way more it. jokes. And they, they don't give a other. you know why they don't give a fuck about you being rich? Because they're at that point in their life where they don't have money. They're so they're all they fuck. got is time to come up with these good ass <laughs> jokes. <laughs> All day long. Don't play around with them, man. Because you got to put your hands on them. I know a little motherfucker start talking shit to me. I'm going to fuck you up because I ain't got jokes. Well, you're going to have a lot of little kids calling you doo-doo hands after this. I see y'all about to chase his ass. <laughs> <laughs> little motherfucker, come here. Like, what the fuck you know? And I had this hoodie on, too. What, 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 ass, what, nigga. What'd you think of it, Schultz? Um... I thought it was kind of unfortunate because it's such a tough situation for Cam. Like, he's so easy to be made fun of in that situation, and he can't really mm-hmm. respond. I think the only thing you can do is just kind of, like, laugh and, like, give the kid a pound because you know what he's mm-hmm. doing. Mm-hmm. But, like, uh-huh. anytime you go back and forth in any way with a kid, you lost. Like, yeah, and when you and when you yeah. resort to, I'm rich. You ain't got nothing. Who yeah. gives a fuck, Cam? You talking to a bunch of little kids. What does that mean? And you don't also, give a fuck like, if you're you rich. You're taking time out of your day to help these kids. Like, these kids can't do nothing for you. 
You try to absolutely. help them. That's where it gets annoying. It's like, absolutely. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, he could real. be out shopping and buying hats or doing whatever he does with his yeah. free time. But instead, yeah. he's dedicating his fucking life to these kids and trying to help these kids. And they're clowning him while he's trying to help. It's like, you I'm, trying to, yeah, I'm trying to help you. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I was that kid too. Like, and, and by the way, yeah. you can't clown Cam about being a free agent. You know why? Because Cam has forgot more than you've ever learned. Cam has accomplished mm -hmm. more than, mm -hmm. than, than you've than you've ever even you haven't even he's failed at more than you've ever even accomplished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yo, if if Cam just had if Cam, you would it's people that would die just for Cam's college career. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But fuck the NFL. This is college career. And he went to the NFL, he made a lot of money. He got great endorsements. Like, Salute to Damn Cam. Good. He good. Why like, is I don't, that like, kid so angry at Cam? It's, it's like he, he says, own insecurity. Man. Hurt, man. Yeah. Hurt. Man. yeah. Hurt. <clears throat> and then you hit me with the arm rich shit. He's on his friends. <laughs> He's gonna try to impress them. And, that shit. And and you keep asking about my daddy. I don't. I'm being honest. I don't know if the guy got a daddy or not. I don't know. And that's probably why. He, that's probably why he started acting up. Word up. That's probably literally why he started acting up. So if I don't have a father in my you household, keep saying some dumb shit like that. Yes. Then fuck and, you. And that's a sore spot. And you keep, what the fuck you keep asking about my fucking daddy for? I understand, yeah. though, why Cam was asking for his daddy, because I tell my daughters that all the time. These little kids, let these little kids fuck with you at school. I'm beating somebody daddy up. Yeah, I see. You got it, too. That's it. Gotcha. I don't want to talk to I'm not going to the school to fuck up no little kid. Where your daddy at? Because now I'm, I, I need to press your daddy about why your little kid is messing with my daughter or whatever. You know what I mean? I need to know what the fuck is going on. Are your I daughters talk to the daddy. getting bullied? No, 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 no. But I just, I always say that. I always give... What if scenarios to 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 my daughters? Like you know, I tell them all the time. Somebody, somebody fuck with you at school, you let daddy know because I'm mm -hmm. coming to school to beat that kid's daddy up. <laughs> he understand too. Absolutely, he understand. Hundred percent. Yeah. All right, let's do some asking idiot, man. Wait, you didn't want to um, talk about Meek Mill and his? Did y'all talk about that, that last week about Meek, Meek Mill um, and what he said about Kobe Bryant? Oh, what yeah, we can about talk Kobe. about it. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, me. <laughs> okay. I mean, Meek had a rap line where Meek said, like, you know, if, if something... Bring the if, chopper. If I go out, I'm going out with my chopper, it'll be another Kobe. I mean, it's wordplay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've heard Meek say, you know, I'm a die fly like a Leah. Rappers say shit like that all the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. So to me, it was just rap. But, you know, the thing that I, I did appreciate about it, um, a lot of times we think things are just rap. We think things are just words, but we don't, we, we don't realize the impact it really is having on somebody. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you see Vanessa Bryant be like, no, I don't. That shit was whack. I don't like that. There's nothing else to talk about. You apologize. Yeah, apologize and you keep it moving. Is that what she said? She didn't like yeah, that? Yeah, she, she didn't was... like it. Oh, dang. But the, was... the, yeah. the funny shit, which I I thought it was hilarious only because, you know, I've been the, the person that has poor timing at times. Like I when Meek tweeted out after Vanessa said that and Meek tweeted out, I'm going back savage mode. Fuck your feelings. No. I know, that was dumb. He, he wasn't talking. I don't think he was talking about Vanessa. I yeah, don't think but Meek why had, would you even... I don't think Meek even knew. That's like when you make a your mama joke and, and you, you don't know, know a person's person mama, uh, de mama is dead. You're right. That's what I think that you was. You ask a girl she pregnant and she ain't really pregnant. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, yeah. making, I'm not making excuses for Meek. I just refuse to believe that Meek has uh, that low of an emotional IQ. I think that was really honest, honestly just poor timing. Mm. And even with that record, that record wasn't supposed to come out like... Meek recorded it. One of his big homies, one of his OGs, told him, nah, don't do that. Like, mm. nah, don't put that out. But do you think he was he did it because he was trying to like show respect? Or do you think he it was, was trying a to line. Do it was a rap line. I'm yeah, going out, well, I'm going out with my chopper, it'll be another Kobe. I think, listen, man, here's, here's what it boils down to. It boils down to who do people love. That's really the that's really the thing. It's a popularity contest. People love Kobe Bryant. Kobe yeah. Bryant is a beloved figure. Right. You know what I mean? People say lines like that all the time in in in, in records. Yeah, Michael Jackson could have sung that and it would have been okay. No. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I know you. Hey, that's, 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 see, that's Meek. Fill the holes. He poor time. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> see, how Barack, see how easily Barack can just be like, I punch somebody in the nose Fill on a podcast. Holes, you know what I'm saying? See how easily that shit can happen? All right, let's do some masking idiots. Okay, so um, to start it off, I thought this was interesting. This guy named... Uh, Taki underscore Ola says, do you think Coochie not the wave no more? Men kind of in season, to be honest. You think, Wax? Coochie? <laughs> 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 yeah, Coochie, vagina. Is you vagina not in season no more? Is men the wave right now? What you think? Just to even answer that, it's kind of out of control. I, I don't think he get pussy. He even say that. <laughs> or, have. you know what? A lot of guys, when they know they're they not going to do a good job, 
get down, play something. I act like I don't know how to play basketball if I know somebody definitely going to kill me playing basketball. So if he know he's not going to do a good job with pussy, he'd be like, ah, pussy ain't all that. So you go play baseball? That's what he trying to do, but I ain't playing baseball. I'm doing I in the pussy world. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. I didn't even, nope. I didn't even, we, there's a question. We not editing question? that either. Well, listen, I'm talking about because nope. I have my lady. Nope. That's you, the only nope. reason. You didn't say oh, that. You shit. made it sound like you're going to Disneyland. Like you're riding all the rides. You Don't said pussy do that. World. Stop. Pussy World. Stop, Charlotte. <laughs> I would never. I'm just saying, I'm doing I, okay in the pussy world. Like I'm, Pussy I'm okay. world? The whole world? Why well, gotta be the what? whole world? Oh, I'm, in, I'm in, it's a world of people who get pussy and guys who play baseball. You see what I'm saying? I'm playing, I'm over here with mine. I'm okay. Oh, I'm talking about in the lane. Nope. Not the world. <laughs> <laughs> then that's why you paused too, because you knew you were saying something. I want to make sure, because I know I want no problems, baby. I don't oh, know. Don't pussy world sound wild. Yeah. We got him, we keeping him in check, Carla. He said pussy world. I'm sure. I'm, I'm just so saying, me. like, usually you use world to describe a lot. A lot? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> like, like, shows, I, like when, shows, you just got engaged too. You know where you at. I'm right kind of nope. there. Like when we oh, when shit. we post that video of wax popping that ass, they're gonna say wax is world. world. <laughs> <laughs> because it, you know what I mean? Like wax is if it's, world. If it's a really big gun store, they'll call it like gun world. Gun world. Do you know yes. what I mean? Like, if it's yes. a big candy store, they call it candy world. Candy world. Yeah. Yes, it's, because it's it not got a one candy. Because guess there. what? I'm only I'm one of the candies in that candy world. So there's a lot of you putting them. It's, world. No, 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 it's, listen, not working, it's a world yo. of girls in the world of meats, right? I'm in the world of the ladies. <laughs> not really, but baby, fuck that. I'm, Carla, I'm coming home. Meat world, meat world, meat world is dope. You've been to meat world, Wax? What's world of meat like? What's the, what, do they, what, do they sell, what do they sell in world of meat, Wax? I don't know. What's the variety like? Oh, you buy it by oh, the pound. Shit. What do you do? Yo, Does it come in slices? Oh, my God. Do they butcher it for you already? <laughs> you got to butcher it at home, huh, bro? What's the, give us another one, Taylor right. Gang. Ziggy Lin, Linux wants to know, Dear Uncle Charlene Schultz, if you could be a woman for a day, what would you do? If I could be a woman for the day? Mm. I would never disrespect women and tell them what I would know if I was them for a day, because I don't know what it feels like to be a woman. I would never disrespect a woman and tell a woman I know what it feels like That's not what it's to be you. I go I get some free is. shit. I go get some free shit. Yeah. That's what Ooh. I would do for sure. I go get some yeah. free shit. Wait, time out. Who said you're going to be a pretty woman, though? They just said Damn. a woman. That it's is me. true. <laughs> I about to say, get, go, go, no. go down the road 100 miles per hour and then let the cops chase you and then pull over. Yeah, that is yeah. that is um, that is um very important. That's very important to the equation because if I just wake up with a vagina but I still look like me. <laughs> <laughs> you getting that ticket? Nah, that no, I'm going, I'm going to pussy world. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a lesbian. I'm going to be a straight <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> you got Whatever them ugly lesbian shorts are talking about, I'm going to be one of them. <laughs> okay? I'm going to be out here, all right? And my line is going to be Cam's line. Hey, you know I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pie up pussy world. What's up? Give me another one, Taylor Gay. Um, you say Taylor Gay? Taylor Gay. Nice. You're so yo. She's on? so paranoid oh because she's God. one of these people no, who not. has slept with a woman once. I never slept with a woman. Oh. You're a liar. I never slept with a woman. Oh, because you ain't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the fuck? You got to explain this. <laughs> Have you ever had sexual relations with a woman, Taylor? Has a girl ate me out? Yes. Uh, so, Dave, I haven't done it. I never did it. So, so what? You got it done to you. That's sleeping with a woman. So what? Oh, God. We're not going to have... See, I'm going to tell you the double standard. If I was getting head from a man... Gay as hell. <laughs> <laughs> One time. If you even let him lick it, you fucked. <laughs> And, ta and Taylor would be the main one telling people. No. Oh yeah, you know Charlotte gay. Oh, yeah. you, you know Charlotte. You know Charlotte gay. Yo, Charlotte finally came out, y'all. He's gay. He's really gay. I can see He's it okay. now. I've been new. I've been, I been I, new. I've been new. I can see it. I can see. I know that's what you would do. Why? Oh, stop, stop. 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 Why? Stop. All right. Fine. Bet, you, bet you can't lick just one. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you know, I can't lick one. Go ahead. What you? What's the question? <laughs> um, Mike No Wiki wants to know how do you start living life not being afraid to be to be yourself. All right, boom. We can end with this. Go ahead, Wax. What you think? How do you live life? Um, no, not, no, no. I don't what? want that to be the last one. 
You got it. That's what you told that girl? One. That's what you told the girl when y'all was together? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm only looking at one more time if you don't do me back. No, what I was want wrong this to be the last one. one. You must got some fire <laughs> one because that one is cool. No, I was going to say a better one is more so. Well, do you guys want to answer that one? Save for the next one. What is it? What is it? What's the question? Oh, I thought a better one was um by Bevel. I don't know how to say this. Uh, what's the biggest red flag when you first meet someone? The biggest red flag when you first meet someone. Ask you for money, I guess. That's a red flag. A red flag is also people who lie for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can just be in a regular conversation. No, you do it all the time. Talking about somebody else lying or somebody <laughs> that you think is lying. And then this person just comes along and adds their own lie to the lie that you're already discussing. And you don't even know why they decided to lie like that. Because it's just like that wasn't even the topic of conversation. But that's a red flag. I don't know what it's a red yeah. flag about, but it just makes you, you know. You want, you want to see who some people is? Because like when my, my sister used to have their boyfriend and stuff, me and my brothers, what we'd do, we'd be like, listen, we're going to make up something and see if he laugh at it. Or we're going to say that he's been there. Yeah. And this motherfucker going to say, yeah, yeah, add on to the Absolutely. fucking story. I want to see who the fuck this nigga is. So we'd say yeah. something like peanut butter and jelly. He'd be like, ah, just to try to be down with us. We'd be like, ah, this nigga. I uh, remember we did, remember, we, <laughs> we, remember the dude, um, we was playing the trick on. We was catfishing him. He put the, he showed his butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? He kept lying to us about he know this girl. He He's smashing her. <laughs> It, it, it was us. We, 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 we was sitting, it was us. Yo, we were sitting in a picture. It was a, it was an Asian black girl that we was talking to him, texting him and everything. Like, show your toes. Show, this me, your went, show me your feet. This nigga went and got a pedicure and sent the picture of his toes done up and everything, yo. Yo, she, she said, he like, I want to see your butt. This nigga in a, in a mirror. In a mirror like this. <laughs> and it was dude. It was me and my boys just playing around with this shit. Wow. He's just steady lying. 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 Talk, talk about, yo, she about to come over here. She about to come over. Low it was key? us. Talking about, yo, I can't wait to see you. I'm about to be downstairs. <laughs> Wax, you no, guys were sexting with your boy. Bro, <laughs> kind of. That's kind of no, gay, kinda. bro. It is, it is, it is. Nah, nah. <laughs> Gay-ish. <laughs> Gay-ish. 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 Yo, gay-ish. we was playing a trick. Gay-ish. We was playing a trick. We were trying to see how far he was going to go. And he went all the way to the stream <laughs> to where... We left because he said she was coming over. And when we came back, he like, man, I beat that pussy up, man. I beat that pussy up. Wow. <laughs> no. 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 It was us. It was us the whole time. No. The whole time, Nobody man. was there. The whole time. Did he think it was a random person texting him? Like, what? Nah, he thought, he, we said it was this girl. He's like, I met you in the club the other night. And, oh. and, and he like, send me a picture. He sent the picture. He's like, oh, yeah, I remember you, girl. Lying. Ah. Just, just lying. Ooh. Lying, just lying. I so mean, we know you can never trust him, and just wouldn't. I, I'm, it just wouldn't stop. Just wouldn't stop with the. I don't think it's about a trust. I just think people in the moment they want to impress people. I know, but you gotta know where to Who put that it? person Who because at any time that person try to impress somebody at the wrong time and stuff. You gotta put that person in the box, know how to deal with yeah. them. You cool, but I just can't not bring you there. I'm not gonna say his name. But do no, I know? Do that to him. Nah, nah, you don't know. So we're saying all that to say. Hypothetically, Why? Taylor, if you were lying about the Poon <laughs> story earlier, <laughs> hypothetically, if you were oh lying, God. do you want to admit before we leave this podcast? I can that admit you were lying? Wait my wrongs excel. and everything else, but I'm not lying about nothing. Wait and say excel. So there was no sauce on that story at all. No. What not about, even an English teacher. What about melted cheese? I had an English teacher, yes. I had two English teachers in my lifetime. We know you had an English teachers, but that's not but, the hard part. Yes. <laughs> and, 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 I'm asking, I'm answering Wax's question. Did, did a teacher, did a guy from London come to your school, teach you black history, and teach you about the word coon? He did not teach me about the word I said that already. I just, so what happened in class? Oh, oh my God. I'm not doing this with y'all. Please tell it. Well, listen, we, we tried to give her another opportunity. You guys are so <laughs> she, she, Y'all are mad annoying. She's going out on her shield like Deontay Wilder. Y'all are mad Nobody threw the towel in her. <laughs> Nobody threw the towel in for, for, for good old Taylor King. <laughs> okay. Listen, um, <laughs> that's we, it. Huh? Wax, what you guys say? Oh, I got my... What I who's got. Wax? I got who's Wax? I mean, 30-something stores. I really appreciate y'all, um, y'all support, man. Give that's me right. more. I want, is that 100 stores out there by the next couple of months? I need to be at least like 60 stores. Um, this is my merch bag. I got trays. I got lighters and all that type of stuff. Y'all come grab that. Bullying the beast, y'all keep on listening. Whatever she says, you know. Out here and the and the who's wax man, it's like it's like protein powder too. Yes, 
So you, you want to look like me and get your weight up. You want to get that fat ass? <laughs> you buy some of that who's wax. You want to look thick? You want, you want that thick, 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 thick? <laughs> you want that ass? Early. Smoke some of that who's wax. Right. Yes. Uh, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Yep.